Go smooth entry. What's up guys and welcome to another video as you can tell by the attire and the backdrop behind me We're no longer in the Middle East. In fact, we're a long way away from the Middle East We're in the middle of the French Alps and we're in Chamonix to be precise but We've come here to do a little bit of skiing because for those of you guys who don't know I'm actually an avid skier, but I haven't been able to go for almost three years now So I'm very much excited for this trip This by the looks of things is the main square. I came here once upon a time when I was maybe about 14 or 15 years old, but I can't remember a single thing. But I'll tell you what, it's absolutely stunning, the scenery, but also like the freshness of the air. I haven't had the experience of fresh air for two years. This is the first time I've actually worn a coat for two years. So this is all a very overwhelming experience for me right now. Okay, so we have obviously changed the outfit a little bit. The ski gear is on. The boots have been acquired. Skis, poles, I'm ready to rock. Now, apparently, because it is approaching April, the ski slopes nearby in Chamonix get a little bit slushy after one o'clock. So we're gonna go head further up the mountain to a spot which I cannot pronounce, and uh, the lad's gonna pick us up in a big uh, minibus, hopefully. So let's just wait for them to pick us up, eh? The sun is extraordinarily bright, like super bright. In Dubai, it's just like a little, you know, dim torch. This is full on burning magnesium. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Six months later, I'm finally reunited. Yo, yo. Yo. Yo, bro. Nice to meet you. It's a bit warm, like. My thighs are uh, dripping with sweat. Oh, we've <laughs> got, got the central vent here. Yeah. Perfect circulation. To release the gas. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. So these fizzy beers. <laughs> Very, a lot of gas. <laughs> so long awaited reunion. The boys are back. It's only been six months. Yeah. Last time we saw each other was Ibiza. Yeah, a very long time ago. Mike was a very room. confused man at that point. I was a lost soul. I think he's got his head screwed back on now. Yeah. And to be honest, I was a bit confused too. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back. <laughs> Excited for the slopes. Extremely excited. Been three years since I graced some actual slope. I went to the indoor Dubai one and it was not, not the same. same at all. Not the same. Not Literally. Bad. Still got it though. Hopefully. I'm actually excited to see Mike ski. I've never seen him ski. Just let me know who you think's better at skiing. Rob Lips it or Mike first. <laughs> So good. Clear skies, it's not even that busy. Perfect. It makes it worth it, like the effort of just getting all the way up the mountain and then getting the ski gear, having to carry it. But then when you're here, it's all worth it. Oh! Hope the spine is ready. You get like this much air, but you think you're going yeah. so high. When I was like my late teens, early 20s, I would do every single jump possible. Yeah, on the side of the possible. mountain. Now, 31, I'm like, you yeah, know. First run, naughty one. one. It's confirmed Uncle Mike is a good skier. <laughs> it's here enough though. Tearing up, yeah, you need goggles. Uh, Do you have goggles? No. Yeah, your eyes water so much. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Get the old hat on then. A little thirsty McDingle. Naughty one, that. Central lined. Let me have a look in the reflection. Decent black screen, that. Is it? <laughs> Decent black screen. Oh, it's my glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a 
familiar sight. Absolute worst influence ever. I allow myself to have a couple of beers this trip. You only live once. In one day? No, no, I'll have a few today, a few tomorrow, a few on Friday. Negatively impacts the potential gym session, which may or may not be happening later. Probably won't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Oh, just to add to the constipation which I'm currently experiencing. <laughs> right, shall I have it first? Oh, it's very good. Very, very good. It's currently so warm right now, I feel like I could just sit in my shorts and actually get a tan. It's ridiculously warm. Yet you are in three jackets. Yeah, and it's all black. But when you're skiing down really fast, like it is like, my head is cold, so the hat is needed. My face is cold as well. What a very successful first day of skiing. Absolutely tremendous. Clearly I've still got it, didn't fall over, touch wood. We're gonna continue that for the next two days. Conditions were very good, a little bit slushy on the way down, but it's good being able to ski all the way from the top to the bottom. Top day with the lads. Did we enjoy it today, lads? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Probably the best day we've yeah, had yet. It's unreal. I mean, it was bring the better vibes, you know what I mean? So now, I'm gonna go back, get ready, get changed. I'm gonna attempt to work out, because I need to get it done. And then, we're gonna meet up with Mr. Lipsetti. Roberto didn't want to ski today. Apparently, he's had enough, he's had enough of the skiing. He's given up. So, uh, we'll meet up, nine o'clock dinner, at the Folly Deuce Hotel. Look at the size of this. <laughs> Put your whole face in. Your nose dips into it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the glass was empty, Mike's nose would still yeah. touch the bottom of it. <laughs> oh, the motivation to go to the gym right now. That's how. That's how much it is. But I haven't been to the gym for two days, and I feel like tonight has the potential to get out of hand with the rowdy men that are gonna be there at dinner, which means the likelihood of me going tomorrow might be even less, so I think I'm gonna have to go. So, let's go. By the way, I haven't even showed you around. That is my bedroom. It's an absolute tip at the moment. It's very cozy, everything's all very woodeny and chally. And there's also two of the bedrooms as well. Go show him a little tour, Christoph, whilst I get these boots off my back feet. I can't, I'm wounded. You're what, wounded? Yeah. Show him it. First day, great start. He sliced his wrists open on the ski. Mm. Did a great job though. Got himself down the slopes. Captured some great content as well. So, shout out to Chris. No pussying out. No pussying out. I would have pussied out. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I would have passed out. <laughs> Actually, I was about to pass out. He went very, he went very white when we got off that bus. Impossible to get off. So I guess we're gonna train in ski moves, guys. What do you want? I'm having a coffee because uh, I need something to wake me up after those two and a half beers. Okay. How do you like this? So good. Right, I'm just going to do a couple exercises. What? So wobbly. Who the fudge did that? Oh, so just in the gym. Yeah, just turn all the lights off. <laughs> Fuck yeah. The staff are not the friendliest here, I must admit. Like, mm. there's no, no warning saying, hey guys, we're just closing the gym now. Can you get out? Straight up, lights off. It's not the most equipped gym, to say the least. I managed to do a couple of stuff with the cables, with the dumbbells, two chest supersets, single arm rowing, low, high, rear delt stuff. Mid delt stuff. What was that about 45, 50 minutes? Which will do. I think I'll probably come here tomorrow, just blast my biceps and my triceps and a bit of forearms with those dumbbells and cables. Anyway, time to get ready. Head out. With t shirt? Why are you holding my friend's t shirt? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> we are Wait, absolutely hammered. Oh, that absolutely hurt good. my elbow so bad. Yeah. We're completely mortal drunk. Look at him in the funny bone. <laughs> oh, oh, you little belters. Are you feeling that? Oh. 
Oh, if Wooka is completely out of battery and I will not be charging it. <laughs> so on these trips you don't really look it's at con them. It's considerably getting more and more. I got four health warnings this morning. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck. Leave it out of battery. <laughs> Pretty nice hotel. Did try and stay here, but it's fully booked. If you are coming here and you want to be in the middle of the action, stay at the Fall Juice Hotel because it's a bit of a vibe. We're from Michigan. Yeah. Well, I'm actually though. also from Ohio. I'm from oh, Michigan. Oh, we're no from way. Michigan. Let's go! Look, I booked out the entire restaurant, all for you guys. There we go. <laughs> Long time. I think we've pretended it's Mike's birthday at least 10 times per year. And I beat that every weekend. It's Mike's birthday. You go into Leo's, it's Mike's birthday. The week after, it's my birthday. The week after that, it's Louis' birthday. And they're like, what are the odds of these guys having a birthday every weekend? That's a good one to finish the vlog with. Nice guys. <laughs> Why do you think Mike fucking finishes first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck do we go now? It's it was right way back where we left. <laughs> Why don't we go back to where Good morning! It's another crystal clear day. And man is feeling fresh. I managed to exit at a relatively early hour last night and uh, managed to get to bed and had a decent sleep. Can't say the same for the other guys because they were they were on one last night, so we'll see how they're doing in a bit. They're not surfaced yet. Anyway today. We're going to be skiing very near to the resort. Let's have a quick look at the map. We are here. We're going to go all the way up there. And above you all the way up there. At least most of the slopes are open, apart from the one that goes all the way down to the bottom. So obviously there's not much snow down here. So hopefully it's going to be another tremendous day. View. Did you see the view? Wow. <laughs> Trash. This is why you have to come skiing in the mountains. You go skiing in artificial slopes, like Ski Dubai and the Mold Emirates. You'll get this. Absolutely stunning. If I'm not mistaken, that's Mount, Mount Blanc. Stunning. Should we ski then? Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. I don't think it was going to be very good up here, but wide, wide slope. Definitely more people on this side though. Oh uh, uh, yeah. It's pretty scary that. I don't know about that. It looks good, but it looks terrifying at the same time. But you're in complete control of where that's going. He doesn't look like he's got a clue where he's going. <laughs> Stopped off for a bit of. Well, I was gonna have a coffee and then I saw there was steak on the menu, so got a big fat steak. Because, to be honest with you, this morning's breakfast was rather pathetic, so there's the protein, which I desperately need. Fries again, probably gonna have at least half of them. And we need to get, we need to eat every single bit of salad, because that would be much of it. The boys still nowhere to be seen. <laughs> They're still uh, at the bottom somewhere. I think they've had a bit of a lion, but they'll be joining us in about 30 minutes or so. How are you feeling today? Very hungover. <laughs> very, very hungover. 
Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi. smooth entry. I'm back. The only man on the mountain without a jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too tough. Don't need jackets. <laughs> but yeah, we feel good today. And him, not so much. Joe's packed it in. But me and Mike were responsible adults last night. Yeah. <laughs> feel a little bit fresher. All right, let's go, boys. Big cheesy ball. Right, quick update. We're at a restaurant called Le Serac. We were walking around for ages trying to find somewhere. Happened to find this place and it actually looks pretty decent. So after a pretty fun day of skiing, it wasn't that intense today because everyone was kind of it's really struggling. A little. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be intense again. Yeah. And they, they got super slushy in the afternoon, and it just wasn't really that enjoyable. So tomorrow we're going to go back to where we skied on the first day. But it's really, really have a full, intense day of skiing because less beers. It's my last, it's my last day. Yeah. Well, there'll be less beers tonight. It's, well, non-existent for me. Yeah. But we'll have some day beers tomorrow. Nice you not getting anything? I'm fasting. He's had the worst hangover of his life today. <laughs> Pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> I never see Louis hungover or struggling. No. Yeah. So, so when Louis hungover, it's a bad one. Yeah. What is that? It's a potato. Ooh. This is how it's done. Oh, oh, get the, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is heavy. Is it? It's, it's twist it, I think. Oh. It is good, isn't it? It makes me feel sick. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> hey, cheese. Good morning, everybody. It is yet again another beautiful day. Not a single cloud in the sky, again. I haven't seen a cloud since I've got here, which is absolutely tremendous. I'm currently at the train station because we want to head up the mountain again today. We're going to go to the same spot we went to the first day of skiing because conditions are a little bit better. Because it's higher up in the mountain, uh, the slopes didn't really turn to slush like they did yesterday. I wasn't really a fan of the slush yesterday, so 10-15 uh, minute journey up the mountain. It's the last day of skiing, so I'm going to make the most of it. Okay, so we just got off the train and we just realized that it is a little, a little bit of a trek to get to the chairlift. Uphill, downhill. Can't say that we're not being active this trip. Been a lot of calories burned in addition to me hitting the gym pretty much every day. Carrying the ski gear is not a vibe. Do you enjoy it, Chris? Chris also has an abundance of camera equipment to carry. Yesterday he had a full-on camera. He had his drone as well and a GoPro. Rob's got his camera as well. So big shout out to those guys for putting up with all of this. Oh yeah, you found the lads. Finally. Fresh camera that. Fresh camera, new vlogging camera. Hopefully it'll pick that. it looks completely black when it's filmed. <laughs> Why is it so zoomed in? <laughs> we found the boys, finally. My last day of skiing. What are your thoughts on this resort? Mm. But uh, you're quite a well-rounded skier. I wouldn't come back, to be honest. Yeah. The best thing about the, this place is the town. The town's massive, sick. Loads of good shops, good restaurants, good standard of food. But the slopes are dead. Like, you have to get the bus everywhere or the train. Wait a minute. You were saying? <laughs> that was the cheese from last night. Yeah, it was a very cheesy meal last night. <sighs> I've been to Zermatt before. I've been to Val d'Isère and Teens. And I, they're probably two of my top places which I've been to. It's just honestly hassle getting the bus to the slopes. It's like 25 minutes in the morning. It's just, it's nice to be able to just walk on the slopes and then get the gondola or the chairlifts yeah. to each part of the mountain, whereas you can't do that here. Yeah, is, is there a lot of faff? Yeah. But when you're on the slopes, they're pretty decent. It'd be nice if you had more of a selection. Yeah. You are a little bit limited here. So overall, Chamonix is not the vibe. <laughs>
been a little bit of a nightmare. This chairlift down there is completely broken. There's a massive queue at the bottom and it's not gonna be fixed anytime soon. So we're gonna walk back up to the bar. I'm not sure what these lot are doing, but that is not, that's not a good situation to be in. <laughs> so basically Mike farted, it polluted the guy that runs the lift and now the lift stopped. Oh. No, it's not mine. That was some serious cardio. <laughs> That's what them type of people do. Go over the hat. What the fuck? Like Louise. With a... Is that shit working? Yeah, it's pretty good. Do that the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> It's so tiring. Oh, it's absolutely exhausting. Heart rate's at 140. How are you doing? <laughs> Keep it cold. <laughs> Wait, hold it. I have to try and come down here now. Watch this. Back in the game. Rough. <laughs> 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 Thing. Joel is in bed with snow blindness. He's been blinded by the sun, didn't wear sunglasses all day, and I was fucked up from that. <laughs> We've all got the reddest faces ever. Yeah. Worse than ever before. That's the best one. <laughs> Rob's face looks like a cartoon. That, that one shoe, by a red faced cartoon. <laughs> you, you lost that. You lost that one today. Bro, you. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. You lost that one. What do we? Oh, oh shit, yeah. that's the memory card with all the footage. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally everything that I've recorded this entire trip. <laughs> Frisbee into the river. It's going to be from a sniff. Oh my god. And then it clocked me in the face. <laughs> How do you aim this shit? <laughs> oh, you can't see through unless you pay for it. And who the fuck carries coins these days? Yeah, atmosphere looks good to me. Let's go. How did you do it like that? That was, it was up <laughs> like this. I spun it round. Could we get that cooked a little bit more? <laughs> I'll get a local I'll, I'll get a local bit. Oh, oh yes. He has high blood pressure. Yeah. Extremely high bad cholesterol as well. Oh, this was a great idea, Rob. No, the cheesy situation. Potatoes, graphics. Potatoes, brother. <laughs> So it's the final morning in Chamonix, last few hours here until I depart back to Dubai, sipping on a lovely little juice. Typical, I actually find a juice shop and healthy shop on the very, very last day, but oh well. It's been a good trip, very good trip. I think you honestly can't beat a good old ski trip with the boys. In my opinion, it's just one of the best things. You're doing stuff every day, you're active, you're out and about, you're having a laugh. You've got the Apre ski as well, and Chamonix, it's a beautiful, beautiful resort. The slopes have been very good, the restaurants have been very good, nice atmosphere, lots of interesting people from all around the world. I highly recommend it. If you're the type of person that wants like crazy nightlife and apres ski, I probably wouldn't say that this is the spot to go to, but I would give you a heads up on the weekend, it definitely gets a lot busier because people from all around France and elsewhere will come here for longer sort of weekend trips. I noticed yesterday, Friday on the slopes, it did get a lot busier than when we were skiing Wednesday, Thursday. And I would say as well, because it's later on in the year, end of the season, I don't think we got to fully explore and trial out all of the slopes that Chamonix has to offer because a lot of them were closed just due to lack of snow. So I don't think we saw it in its full, full form. But what we did see was very impressive and I had a lot of fun. So hope you enjoyed the videos. I'm gonna keep bringing you the travel vlogs. It's gonna be a very good summer, but we're gonna go back to Dubai now back to the Dubai content. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.